Hi guys, this is Steve from Pyeongchang again, and this is my video blog for C2 Day 2 Unit 3. Um, for this particular project, what the students need to do is they need to explain the side effects of antibacterial products. And for what Cheongnam has created is they have given you an option between uh, a live skit, a movie, a storyboard, or their choice. What I'm going to do for my particular class is I feel like the students are kind of getting tired of making videos and acting every time. Um, and it's a middle school class for my particular class, and I know um, they're kind of getting tired of uh, acting in front of everybody. So I'm going to give them a little bit of a break this week, and I'm going to have them actually, they're still going to be writing a script, like it's kind of like a movie or a live skit, but instead of acting, they're going to be creating a comic strip. Um, there's a couple of uh, pretty decent, not great, uh, comic strip applications, and let me tell you about uh, three of the best ones I've found so far. Um, the first one is called Comic and Meme Creator. The second one that I found is called Comic Strip It, right here. And the third one is Comic Maker. Uh, I've been playing around with each of them for a couple hours, and I still haven't decided which one I like the best. Um, so I'm probably not going to decide until almost that day of my class. But I recommend, uh, if you're going to be doing a comic strip like I'm doing, uh, I recommend playing around with them a lot before uh, you decide which one the students uh, will have the least amount of trouble with. So what they're going to be doing is they're going to introduce their comic, and then when they're presenting their comic, my uh, vision is that when they have the comic on the TV screen, they're kind of doing, they have the words on the comic, but they're doing voiceovers for that comic. Um, so for the roles, uh, the roles are pretty basic. Um, I'm sure you guys can come up with uh, just as good ones. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have either like a mom and a dad or two friends or brother or sister, uh, just really basic roles that they can act out um, around the house. Um, and then I'm also going to be uh, telling them that they have to have characters, like animated characters of good bacteria and bad bacteria. Um, I think that will make it a little bit more fun for the kids um, if they have like an animated bacteria, like, no, oh, don't kill me, kind of thing. Or like the bad bacteria trying to convince the person uh, not to kill him as well. Um, I think that will make it a little bit more enjoyable for the students. As far as when they're doing their project, what our branch has been doing and what we've started is for almost every level, we've been making a checklist for the kids so that they know exactly what their job in the group is. Um, so we made like what we've been doing every week is we make something like this. Um, and basically, it just has the team member and what their role is like. Okay, so like, for example, team member one, brother. And then it says, like, introduce your character. So they got to write, introduce their character. Then they have to write their lines for the comic. And then uh, maybe for different roles, they have to do, like, an introduction and conclusion. And so that way they know exactly what they need to do. Um, and it also has, like, rationale as for, like, every character has to have ten sentences, five words each. Uh, okay? Okay. And uh, that's really been helpful with making their output a lot better. So like my past few videos have been around like five, six minutes long, which I've uh, really uh, been happy with um, the students. So at your branch, I don't know if you uh, do this, but I definitely recommend making a checklist that has each person's role and so they know exactly what they need to do in their project. Um, so for this project, I'm not going to let them play around with any of the applications until they've finished their script. That way that they stay focused and it, has, it gives them something to look forward to later. Um, so they need to write down all their lines, everything, before they start playing with the applications. Um, and then when they have finished their lines, then they can start making the comic strip um, and the pictures. Uh, if worse comes to worse and they spend so much time on the script and they can't get to the comic, it's a very easily uh, one thing that you can solve this problem pretty fast is, you know, you can uh, just make it into a skit. Um, you guys didn't have time, so you're going to have to act it out. Uh, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to push them to finish as fast as possible so that they can do um, the comic strip. 
So what I'm planning on doing to help them out in this project is I'm going to also include a lot more media cards that have lot that have many more expressions. Um, the past few projects I've noticed the kids have lots of trouble coming up with their own ideas and what, like their own sentences. So I'm going to try to add more to what Chungdam has for the expression sheet so that they can generate more ideas for this particular project. Um, I'm also going to have media cards for like specific pictures. Uh, so for like example, if one of their characters is a, you know, a good bacteria or a bad bacteria, um, I'm going to have a media card that they can use in their comic so they don't spend so much time searching for uh, pictures. Because I know my kids, when they're looking around, they get very distracted and they'll look at like a thousand pictures and these pictures uh, might not be the best. So I'm going to try to eliminate all the time they spend searching the internet for pictures and kind of just provide them with the character pictures that they can use. Um, also, with some of the comic strip apps, what the students can do is uh, they can actually take pictures of them, and then some of the apps, I know the Comic Maker app, when you put the picture into the app, it can actually change the person's face and make it look like they're in a comic. So uh, after they finish their script, I might let them uh, stand around class and like act like do a still picture of them acting, and then they can take that picture and put it into the comic app. Um, and I think that way they can, uh, it's not just them doing animated characters, but they can also put like themselves in the comic as well. Uh, and I think the best one for that I've found, uh, the best looking one is the comic maker one. The most, the easiest one to use is the uh, comic and meme creator one. Um, so that's, those are my ideas for uh, this particular project. Um, I, one other app I might be using is like a sound effects app so that when they're doing the voiceovers for the comic, um, turning page by page, they might be able to use a couple uh, um, sound effects applications. Uh, and one thing I just thought of right now, um, actually, is I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can find like a voice changing application um, so that like when they're speaking, like as a bacteria, maybe it will change their voice. Uh, I'm not sure if such a thing exists. I know on like the cacao call, they change your voice sometimes. So I'm sure there's some application that can change voices. Uh, yeah, so that's an idea that just came to me right now. Um, yeah, I hope this has been helpful. Um, and please uh, feel free to talk to everybody at your branch that's teaching this and get ideas from them. All right. Have a good week.